Hi, my name is Maria Barra, and I'm here to bring you the Word of God. I'm going to talk to you, talk to you about being spiritually fit. Not physically fit, but spiritually fit first. Why? Because every day we're in a battle, whether we want to admit it or not. We're fighting a big battle, a battle with spiritual warfare. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age. This is true. We fight against things that are unseen. And when people think that that's not true, you can think it, but COVID's been around for a while. You can't see it until it manifests in the physical realm, right? And then it comes onto these people that it takes, and it takes them out by taking their spirit, the body's left there, but the body's dead. Or, or asleep, as they would say. And the spirit leaves. So I'm here today to talk to you. I hope you take down my number. It's 559-681-0853. 559-681-0853. I don't post it along with the video because then you get people who don't even care and are calling and they're asking questions that have nothing to do with what I talk about because they don't even know what I talked about. Or they make crazy calls and this is a personal number of mine and I put it here because if you've taken the interest and invested the time to watch the video I feel that you're here by your heart and your spirit led so much stuff happens and so much stuff continues to happen in the world and you know when you get to be 66 years old you've seen quite a bit of stuff and you live through a lot the younger people can't um, comprehend because there's some things that you have to go through, but it's just too much bad stuff going on. There's just too much bad stuff going on. We, as far as I'm concerned, we can't leave the world the way it is. And we've got to make every attempt to change it. You know, in the 60s, we had all these sexual revolutions. In the 70s, we had, you know, whatever, continued all the flower child stuff. And we had more looseness of drugs, alcohol, sexual sexuality, and all these other things. And... The unfortunate thing that people don't realize that there's a book that gives us a guide and it's this. And unfortunately, people think that by lifting weights and getting a real nice physique, you know, chicks, and I say chicks because most women aren't attracted to muscular men or muscular women. They don't expect somebody to be really built to feel that they're all that, you know, their guy or their girl. The average person is attracted to a kind heart, a good spirit, we hope. And now we have to educate our children for there was some failure in my generation and the generation before mine to enlighten, and I say enlighten, to bring the word of God, which is the good news, the light to people because we are in spiritual warfare. And it's every day. It's every day, every minute, every second. Sometimes things are few, are real good. Look. How many times have you felt real good and then your mom walks into the room, starts yelling, clean the room, clean the room, clean the room. Or your dad starts screaming, you know, I need for you, if you're an old, say you're a 20 something year old guy and you know, your mom happens to be gone or you know, you're living alone with your dad. Cause I get calls all, of all kinds from different kinds of young people too. And he wants to use your credit card because your credit's better than his cause he blew his credit and he starts screaming. Now you're all depressed. I'm getting a lot of calls from people between the ages of 17 and 35. That's the age group that's calling me and reaching out to me a lot. But this is for people of all age groups. Even if you're not 17, and even if you're after 35, why? Because man, people are self-centered, which means selfish, egotistical, and arrogant. And what that basically means is that people have cold hearts. People only think of themselves. And you know what? I'm here to tell you, that on Saturdays, I'm gonna be starting classes where we're gonna lead, train you and arm you to prepare for a spiritual revolution, to lead not only your community, but the whole world. Because now we have access to the whole world with a touch of a phone. We can access people anywhere and give our information anywhere, within minutes on Instagram, any social media. So if you're admiring the people who do this, and who did, that's good, that's good. But look, 
It doesn't matter how built you are. It doesn't matter how great you look. Like, I know I'm not all buff. I never have been. I weigh the same 116 pounds today that I weighed when I was in high school. How do I know that? Because I found a life insurance policy and I was looking at my beneficiaries and it was my brother Eugene who has now expired. May he rest in peace and I know he does. And they had my weight there and it's the same weight I weigh today. And I've never really lifted weights. I've never done anything. I, I used to run before my brain surgery. Now I walk five miles every day, which isn't always that easy. But my spirit man has always felt the grace, the mercy, and the favor of God. Not because of me. Because when I was younger, like I just knew there was Jesus, but I didn't even have a relationship with Jesus. I just prayed the little prayers we were taught as Catholics. And I practiced this ministry, but it's non-denominational. But, you know, my mom prayed, my grandma prayed, my great-grandma prayed. Every night my dad would say uh, something to us as a blessing. And you know what? I've always felt that there's the higher power of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. You know, as a kid, I think even sometimes, like, I didn't even know what the Holy Spirit was. So I received a lot of sacraments, but... I just took the classes, just kind of like when you go to college, you're taking classes and you're taking these classes and you study for the class to pass the test, to get the degree. And when you go through catechism, you study for the test to get the sacrament and move on to the next sacrament. But these weights here, now I can't lift any heavier than two pounds because of the brain clips that I had due to my brain surgery that I had years ago now by the grace and mercy of God in his favor and the prayers of my family. And I see my family, my daughter, Forty, Christian, Sophia, and Maddie, got, you know, Liana, you know, my grandkids. They prayed for me because I didn't really let my family know. You know why? Because family doesn't always wish you well. I've been in business all my life, all my life since the age of 14. And of course, I've got my formal education. But let me tell you something. People don't always wish you well. A lot of times they wish you bad. Heck, I've had relatives of mine who tried to get me indicted and get me sued and had me had bad things happen to me. And you know what happens to my relatives that have tried that? They've had a lot worse things happen in their family. And I'm still here, like Elton John says, I'm still standing by the grace, mercy, and favor of God. Because the more trials, the more tribulations, the more battles you go through, if, you, if you're right in your spirit, man, you keep praying to God and you get stronger and stronger and stronger spiritually. Because you know what? While the guy in the gym is doing this, and I say guy because it's more of a masculine thing, and now there's a lot of women who do it too, and all the power to them. But I hope they're opening their Bibles. And I know my grandchildren go to the gym, but I know they open the Bible. And I know, one, my grandson even goes as far as doing the Torah. So right now, what I'm telling you, is as you go through life, your spiritual muscles get stronger and stronger and stronger the more you pray, the more you testify of what's happened to you. I've been through a lot of my life. You know, I'm standing here and I'm bringing you the Word of God because I've been through a life, a lot of my life. And I know it's hard to share with people because most people don't care. But I care about everyone. Look, it's not easy to do videos. First of all, you can't do them just... I always have to do them on an empty stomach because I don't want my stomach growling. I don't want to be burping or doing anything like that. So most of the videos that you see that I do, sometimes they're done like right now, which was like 3 o'clock already in the afternoon. I haven't had breakfast because I knew I wanted to do a video. Okay, I'm going to go work a couple of hours today still. It's Saturday, but I do work on Saturdays. But I do absolutely nothing on Sunday but praise and steady the Word of God. And on Saturdays now, my work is going to be totally dedicated to working with people for the kingdom of God. Because you have to understand, you know, everybody talks about the world and how it was created from the scientific perspective. And I am a, I believe in science, of course. I am a spiritual scientist. But I know that before science came God, because there was a vast and God created creation. Because he spoke his word. So I know the power of the word. If God spoke his word and created the universe, and then when God gave us his son Jesus that the world rejected, then Jesus said, I don't leave you nor forsake you. And he left us the Holy Spirit who will live in you to guide you, lead you, direct you, and counsel you, and advocate for you. What more do we want? We're happy. We're fine. So you know 
what? Today, if you're depressed, you're oppressed or whatever it is because of whatever's going on in the world, you know what? If you need to lose some weight because you're a little fluffy, you know, if you need to feel better, look better, if your finances are all out of whack because your credit stinks, if you need to organize your business, you know, when you come to me, you don't come to a normal priest or pastor, event evangelical or prophet or whatever people call themselves. You come to me, a woman who believes and loves God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and who trusts because I wouldn't be here after this humongous brain surgery where I was in intensive care and never even thought I'd be there. And then later on, two years later, I'm flown or four years later to UCSF thinking I need the same thing. And by the grace and mercy of God, after several days, two days in intensive care, they said it's a phenomenon and nothing was there. But my daughter and my grandchildren laid hands on me and prayed over the phone for me before I left on the helicopter from Fresno to San Francisco. Yeah, that's how urgent it was. So you know what? If you got urgency in your life, if you're down, you're depressed, your finances are bad, if you're a business person, you're a farm laborer, whatever, you know, if you work in a packing house, in a store, your consultant, the doctor, because I, I deal with all kinds of people. Call me, Maria Ibarra, 559-681-0853. If you can't attend in person, we can do it through Zoom for you. But you have to be prompt because we start promptly. I, lead a, I was leading a group in Mexico, and the issue that we were having is that everybody was showing up late. So you know what? And I'm going to give you a word of advice. When you worship God, try and get dressed up. Because we are going to the King of Kings, to the Lord of Lords, our Lord and Savior. And, and you know what? You play, you you know, you you get all dressed up for a graduation. You get all dressed up for a friend's birthday party. You know, you look, you try to bring sexy back when you go to a nightclub. You know what? When you come to worship God, you're coming to the biggest party of all. Imagine all the saints that are before us, which are our relatives in heaven, we hope. All the angels of heavenly court. Remember, God is the only one that can send his angels. So before you go to God and you ask God, God the Father in Jesus' name, by the power of the Holy Spirit, send your heavenly courts and legions of angels to protect us, to guide us. Send your warring angels, your, your healing angels, and your ministry angels to us and our family, God the Father, for all our needs. Before you do that, get dressed up. If you have respect for family members, have respect for the third person that was there when you were born, when you were made at conception, when that light comes that even scientists doesn't know, when a woman's egg and a firm fertilized, there's an eruption of light. Why is that? Why? Because that's the Holy Spirit. That's the hand of God. When you were made, it wasn't just your mom and dad. God came first and those were two brought together. So you know what? Some of you don't have your mom and some of you don't have your dad living with you. And I know some of them are even related to me. As I say that, and there's nothing more that I wish that your mom and dad were living together or had been living together. But you had, you had, and you have God. And realize this as I talk to you, that God is our omnipotent Father. Look, for me, my dad left this earth at the age of 92, which is not like 20 years ago, okay? But I have Father God. And even if I prayed to my God, my dad couldn't do nothing for me when I was in intensive care. Even though I prayed to my mom, she couldn't do nothing. But Father God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit did. They brought me here to you today. So in closing, we say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen, amen, and amen. May the blood of Jesus cover you. May the face of God's grace, mercy, and favor, his countenance be upon you, shining. May the Holy Spirit rise in you. May you be protected by the Holy Trinity of Jesus Christ, which is God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May you rise to a higher spiritual level just by the watching of this video. And may you feel so motivated, so persuaded by these few words I've given you here. 
of a, of a, a common lady from the wrong side of the tracks, man. I'm just a normal, regular person from the wrong side of the tracks. I'm not the right color here for America, because you know, what do they say? If you're white, you're all right. If you're brown, stick around. If you're black, get in the back. You know, these are all these little sayings people say. But you know what? Regardless of my color, regardless of when I was young, they said, one time they wrote a newspaper article on me, she's worth X amount of dollars, and she makes a hit in business. She's young, she's a woman, and she's Hispanic. Well, you know what? God comes for the weak and the meek. So God loved that I was brown and I was in town. Love God that I was, God loved that I was young. And God loved that I was a woman because I was able to create my daughter and my grandchildren and my grand, my great grandson. So you know what? We're powerful people. Whether you're brown, black, white, yellow, whatever color you are, or people say you are. At the very end of the day, Jesus was a darker shade of brown. He was, he's Jewish. So it's very likely that he was darker skinned. And you know what? I'm here today to bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus Christ's holy name, we say amen. Be blessed. Go out and do something big. When you walk into a room, let people know who you are. You know what? You don't have to carry a Louis Vuitton purse. You don't have to carry Prada, Michael Kors, Coach. I don't. I don't carry any of those things. I kid you not. I carry like a cloth bag, and that's it. And, uh, you know, that's just, that's just the way it is, you know. And to be real frank with you, um... Yesterday, somebody complimented a purse that I was carrying. And it's one of those Lancome purses that I got for free when I bought my niece her Christmas present. So if you think that you have to dress all high class or do that, you know what? Just keep your clothes clean, fresh and crisp. Women, put on your makeup to look nice. You know, because we are marketing ourselves every minute of every day. People do judge you. People do judge you. And you know what? That's okay. But you know what? Put on your uniform every day to what you want to be perceived in. The, the theater called the world stage. Because sometimes the better you look, the better you smell, the better you talk, it makes a difference. And if you don't know how to do that, how to go through the whole socialization process, that's one of the things you learn in my ministry. And you know what? I can talk to you from experience. Everything I teach is something I've taught before. And I've practiced in my business now for 43 years as a business and financial consultant. And I do a lot of research and I read a lot of books. And when I teach you the Word of God, it's not because I read one translation of the Bible, but many out of the Bible, the library I possess. And I've read them in English and in Spanish. I've read the Torah and study, and I study the Torah every day also. And I study the Word of God, the Bible. And... If you're ready for it, let's go. Let's, let's go do some spiritual warfare. But our spiritual warfare is easy, guys and girls. You know why? Because our spiritual warfare, God does it for us. It's as easy as asking God. He says, you have not because you ask not. So today I ask you, go and be happy. Just go and be happy, love. You know what? If you don't have a lot of money, go to Dollar World and buy your treats there. And you know what? Do what you got to do, but get it done. And if your house needs to be cleaned and you hate doing it, you know what? An hour a day. But you know what? Think right, eat right, feel right, and live right. God bless you. Amen.